Hey everybody, this is David Homestead Hacks. This is where we're staying this weekend. This is the inside view of the cabin that we're staying at in uh, close to Pigeon Forge in Sevierville. And I'll show you the outside here in a little bit in the river, how good it looks out there. A beautiful view of the river. If any of you are ever in this area, there's lots of cabins all over Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. So this is a little view of the inside of the cabin. And the outside is just gorgeous. It's I like the outside better, the view that's, and this is on a dirt road. So you can find a lot of cabins. You just gotta book them ahead of time in order to get to them. Here's a little view from our cabin that we're staying at. Beautiful river. I'm not sure if they stock this, but if they don't, this this would be a, a very, very good place to stock trout. Beautiful stream. Very clear. I'm looking from the, the balcony part of our cabin. And these cabins are they're one after another going down through there. That big one down there where you can see those people standing. I think it sleeps like 20 people. It's huge. We're in the Sevierville, right outside of Pigeon Forge. So it's out uh, the last few, about the last mile was dirt road to get out to this cabin. But uh, if you've ever been to Pigeon Forge or Sevierville, there are tons of places that you can go camping or, or rent a cabin. Uh, we go to a, a River's Edge campground and right in the, at the end of Pigeon Forge where we take our camper a lot but we didn't bring the camper so we just got a cabin these cabins if you ever get a cabin up here you better get it in advanced especially around Christmas time we had to get this one about a month out and we barely got it and it was probably due to because of a cancellation so if you're ever in this area try to get it early early if you want to get a cabin or such because it's very very hard to get sometimes the cabins go quick uh, this one here has it's a two bedroom it's a two-story has a hot tub outside hot tub um, like I said in uh, two bathroom two bedroom pretty pretty decent size huge living room and uh, I'll show the inside here in a little bit but uh, very very nice I always like to share this stuff like this, uh, on, especially on homestead hacks where people like to get out at times and uh, take a little vacation and get out into the mountains. Uh, some other places we want to try to go this or the next year is uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, because I haven't been there in a long time. And don't forget, we did close on our property uh, close to LJ, that three acres that we purchased to put our camper on. So kind of uh, if you would go along with us on that adventure of cleaning it up and getting our camper set up and that'll be like our homestead away from home type situation so it'll be a real nice real nice place to go and relax but it's it's probably about 50 some degrees here right now it's not that cold the sun's out it is it's absolutely beautiful out today very very pretty but if you're ever in this area, come check it out. Uh, a lot of these cabins, like I said, are way out. They're outside of Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge. Well, and Gatlinburg. Uh, this one's about 20 minutes. It takes 20 minutes to get into town, which is not bad at all. It gets you out away from everything, and it's, it's very nice to uh, get away from stuff instead of having to be into that. If you've ever been to Pigeon Forge, how busy the, the roads are because of the tourist attraction. Here's a little night shot of all the cabins. There's that big cabin down there. Look at all the lights that they have. That's the one that sleeps like 20 people. That's a huge cabin. They got all these outside lights and they got fire pits and big lights, walk, there's a walk around lights. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice setup. There's a river, you can hear it of course, you can't see it now. Look across the river, look at the Christmas tree. 
and then of course everybody's got their own fire pit there's the neighbors there they got their fire pit going we don't have ours going was going to but we haven't made one and you can see a little christmas tree across the the river right there but but that one right there is very interesting that that cabin there is lit up very well looks like a little little christmas town pretty neat pretty interesting but just thought i'd show a little bit of night view but that's about it folks just thought i'd share that with you don't forget click on the little bell like and subscribe thanks for watching homestead hacks